Assalamu alaikum viewers, I hope you are well. Friends, today we are going to talk about a place of our country, which even the people of his own country did not know about some time ago. But today's stamp is that not only its mention is common, but it is going to change the geography of the world, which we all know as the water. But in today's video, we are going to tell you something about the Gawadar that you may not know. Do you know which country Gawadar was a part of when Pakistan was established and when and how much Pakistan bought it? Before the detail, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please press the bell icon while subscribing so that you can get notifications of our upcoming videos on time. Viewers, Gawadar is a beautiful city in Balochistan province and located in the southwest of Pakistan and on the world's largest maritime trade route. It has become famous all over the world due to its excellent location and modern port. Gawadar is made up of two words of Balochi language. Gawa means open air, Dar means door door to the open air. The whole world has become aware of the importance and usefulness of Gawadar with its 60 km long coastline. Dear viewers, Gawadar and its history is very old. It is also called wadi e kalanch and wadi e dasht Most of it is uninhabited and barren. This area has always been important in the history of Magran. Well, it is said that during the time of Hazrat Dawood when there was a famine, many people migrate from wadi e sina and come to wadi e Magran. This area was part of Iran for centuries under the rule of Iran. During the reign of the Iran, King Taus and Afra Sahab. This area was also under their control. In 325 BC when Sikandar Azam returning to Yunnan in the subcontinent, this area was imported to him due to its excellent location and he sent his force there, conquered and the area by anchoring the ship harbor and made one of his generals its rule who continued to rule it uh, until 323 BC. In 330 BC, Chandragupta, the ruler of this subcontinent, attacked and seized this area from the Greek general and included it in his government. But after 100 years, his rule went to Iran. In century, in 1736, they handed over the water to Nadir Shah of Iran. After three years, the Gachki tribe was again in the power, but in 1778, Khan of Kalat occupied Gawadar. In 1784, Prince Sayyid Sultan of Muscat rebuilt against his father and sought refuge in Makran. Khan of Kalat Nasir Khan gave him the territory of Gawadar at his guest. In 1792, Sayyid Sultan became the Sultan of Muscat and Oman, but he included Gawadar in his administration. This situation remained unchanged and even during the establishment of Pakistan in 1947, the Gawadar was a part of the sultanate Oman. Immediately after its establishment, Pakistan called for the recovery of Gawadar. In 1949, negotiations were also held to resolve this issue, which ended without any discussion. In 1956, when Sir Feroz Khan became the foreign minister of Pakistan, he revived his issue. When he became the Prime Minister of Pakistan in 1957, he raised the legal point that Gawadar has the status of a Jagir. Since the government of Pakistan has cancelled all the Jagirs which the British government had given to many people in return for their services or for other politics reasons, the Gawadar Jagirs have been restored. The British government supported Pakistan's position and after paying compensation for their help, the Gawadar region become part of Pakistan on September 8, 1958 and Allah Abdul Hamid acted as the representative of the President of Pakistan. He took care of the system and structure of the project. In 1955, the area was made Makran district. 
In 1958, Muscat returned Gawadar and its surrounding area to Pakistan in exchange of 10 million rupees. On July 1, 1970, when one unit was abolished and Balochistan was also made a province, Makran also got district authority. In 1977, Makran was registered as a vision and on july 1 1977 turbat panchgor and gawadar were made into three district in april 2015 pakistan and china announced their attention to develop the 46 billion dollar china pakistan economic corridor cpec which in turn forms part of china ambitious one bell one road gawadar future heavily in cpec and is also envisaged to be the link between the one belt one road and maritime skill road project 1.153 billion dollar worth of infrastructure projects will be invested into the city as part of cpec with the aim of linking northern pakistan and western china to the deep water seaport the city will also be the site of a floating floating liquefied natural gas facility that will be built as part of the larger 2.5 billion dollar gawadar nawakshah segment of the iran pakistan gas pipeline project in addition to investment directly under the aegis of cpec in gawadar city the china overseas port holding company in june 2016 began construction on the 2 billion dollar gawadar special economic zone which is being modeled on the line of the special economic zone of china In September 2016 the Gawadar Development Authority published a request for tenders for the preparation of expropriation and resettlement of old town Gawadar